welcome to Nurse Table Talk. I'm Nurse Julie, and today I'm joined by Erica from Damsel in Defense, and we will be talking about our wellness, keeping ourselves safe. Hey, Erica, thanks for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me. I'm very excited to hear about your products and all the situations that can occur when, um, when we're out there and things we don't think about. So to our viewers in part one, we will, Erica will be sharing um, her information about herself and about her company. And in part two, uh, we will discuss the products and how and situations of how these products would be beneficial to keeping us all safe. So Erica, let's get started. Maybe you could share a little bit about yourself, your company. Yeah, absolutely. So hello everyone, I am a stay-at-home mom of three. I have a nine-year-old, a six-year-old, and a two-year-old, so my life is just crazy all the time. I homeschool two of them, my two oldest ones. Um, I have one in fourth grade and one just starting first grade, so you know, life is fun and exciting and crazy all at the same time. I also run a farm, we have lots of farm animals, and I am a damsel pro. I absolutely love damsel in defense. I've been doing, I've been a damsel pro for almost six years now. And our amazing company is going to be 11 years old next month. And it was started by women who saw a need for safety for families, women and families, and just the education aspect of it, tools to put into our hands. We can go into a store and get certain products, but we don't know, we don't have the training to know how to use them. And sometimes they don't have the quality or the guarantee that they're going to work when we need them. So that's why we do what we do. That's why we go out and we share information and we share our products with people. Now, Damsel, my friend asked me to go to a stun device party and I just gotten out of the military and I absolutely love the idea of a party like that. You know, you hear of all these different parties and I just thought that would be a good one to go to. It'd be fun. So I looked up the company and I just wanted to find out more about the mission. So the mission was to equip, empower, and educate women and families. And that's what I want to do. I want to help others. And so it just drew me in. And once I dug more into it, I found out that we have damsel homes so our company, a portion of our proceeds actually goes to help to rescue women and children from human trafficking. And it's so, it's one of the top grossing incomes right now in the world is human trafficking. And it's just a shame that these children and these women have to endure this. So, so that's our job is to protect others. It's a human tragedy, like you said. So I am, and that from that aspect too, I'm very excited that you're here to, today to share what your company is all about and the products that you have. So let's discuss some of those situations that you were talking about. Yeah. So, you know, we, right now we're talking about, I'd like to talk about more nurses and, you know, people, medical field going in and out. We had uh, a family member living with us recently and she was on hospice and the nurses were coming into our home and they didn't have any type of protection on them. And I asked them about that and they said that they wanted to get some in their hands and I showed them what I had and they just loved it because they don't have anything to make them feel safe when they're going into other people's homes. Right. And so, you know, walking to and from your vehicle from either a residence or the hospital or a nursing home, wherever you're working at, you know, you want to feel safe. You want to feel confident. And if you don't have something to defend yourself, you're not going to feel safe or confident. So that's why, you know, I want to make sure that when you're walking to and from your vehicle, no, not to have your earbuds in. If you're going for a walk, you need to pull down. You had a bad shift, whatever the situation is. Don't use your headphones, don't have your headphones in because that's a distraction for you and you won't be able to hear somebody coming and not all attacks, you don't have time to react to them. You usually only have about six seconds to react to a situation. So you right. want to make sure to have your products in your hand and ready to go just in case. Right. I remember there were many times when I was working the midnight shifts where I was crossing large parking lots that had cars that anybody could have ducked behind. 
I did not have anything on me that would help me keep somebody at bay. And it crosses your mind, you know, there's security guards, but they may be helping somebody else and not seeing what's going on. So, and parking garages were the other um, issue that we would have to park in. And then again, they're lit, but there's a lot of areas that are not lit. So, so thank you for sharing that. I'm certainly glad, you know, that we can maybe empower nurses with some of these products. We talked about living alone. Oh, yeah. You know, people get very comfortable living in, you know, you live in your home, you're in your home every day, you don't think that someone, something's going to happen. So staging your home and having some type of defense tool, like for instance, at my home, I have a striking tool on right next to my front door, because I don't, if someone tries to come in, I have that tool to, you know, try to stop an intruder from coming in my home. So these tools, the tools I'm going to go over today can help with all of that, can help stage your home, can help stage your vehicle, your nurse bag, or even keep it on your person. And the other thing, Erica, that you and I had discussed was when we're out hiking or walking, um, I mentioned to you that my neighbor brought up a, you know, something that I had not thought of. She said, oh, Julie, this is great. Um, the <laughs> This, if a coyote approaches me, I have something now that I I can use, you know, she walks her dog, it's later in the evening or so, and it's dusk. And I mean, we live in the Smokies, I I get concerned about bear, you know, I mean, and you go into like the sportsman shops, and you see the bear spray, and you see other safety, safety tools in that. But when you and I met your products were really impressive. So it's, you know, you feel confident when you're holding these things. And, you know, the issue with bear spray is that it's very, the potency isn't that much. It's not that hot because bears are very sensitive to smell. And so it's just enough to deter a bear, but it's not necessarily going to deter a person, it deter somebody who may be on some type of substance. So you want to make sure to have pepper spray like ours that has 18% OC in it, which is the hottest that you can get right now. And it's, you know, it's going to help you to deter that person. And I can tell you from experience, our pepper sprays are not fun to have on you. I've had it on me before on an accident and it was, you know, it's not fun. So, and that was like just a tiny bit of it. So to get a full blast of it, whoever's messing with you, whether it be an animal or a person, they're not going to mess with you after that. <laughs> Okay, well, let's, let's um, have you show our viewers, what, let's start with the products that you have discussed, and then we'll provide a link into um, our description of Erica's contact information. And um, we'll get started on that. Wonderful. So I'm going to show you the our hear me out alarm. This is our new alarm. This is the front It has a little flashlight on it. So if you're walking to and from your car, and it's at night, you can have the flashlight on. It also has a silent alarm on it. So if I push, oops, sorry, there goes the light. If I push this button right here, it's gonna send an alarm to my husband and my dad through the, the Damsel and Power app. You can, um, or Shield Community app, you can, it's gonna send an alert to whoever my five contacts are that I want to send it to. And it's gonna keep alerting them until I tell them that I'm safe. Okay. And then it also has a noise on it. So if I pull the tab on it, it's going to make the noise, but it's also going to send that alarm as well. And again, it's not gonna shut off unless I tell them that I'm safe. Okay, so if I was walking across a parking lot and you pull that pin, is it a screeching kind of alarm? It's a very loud alarm. Yes. Okay. It's like, you know, kind of like a car alarm, but really loud. Okay. Okay. No, that's great. I really think that's a really great product. So absolutely. And it's great for, you know, any really anybody, any age group. Um, if you're just feeling unsafe, you can push that button. And even if you're okay, but you just don't know, you know, you kind of get that hair standing up on the back of your neck, like something's not right. It's okay to push the button. Okay. And to be, and to be clear, just to clarify, um, 
the other people, they would get the message via a text message to your contacts, like you had mentioned. Correct. Okay. Yep. Through text message. Okay. Yep. Okay. Awesome. And then your next product? I'm going to show our pepper spray. We have a pepper spray that also has GPS in it. Now, all of our pepper sprays do not have GPS in it, but this one does. All of the material in it is all the same. They're all 18% OC. They all have UV dye in it. They all spray 16 feet. This one just is lucky and has GPS in it. So it helps us to, again, just pushing this little button here. I don't even have to deploy my pepper spray. I can just push the alarm and it's going to alert my contacts and let them know that I've used it. So, and when you use your pepper spray, I don't know how many people know, but when you use pepper spray, you don't just spray in a straight stream because you may miss, it may be windy, whatever the situation is. So you definitely want to spray in a zigzag formation all across the face because you want to make sure you get them covered. And it has that UV dye in it that you can contact the police once you are in a safe location and let them know, hey, I've used my pepper spray and it has UV dye in it. And then you just get a police report and let us know and we'll replace your pepper spray for you. So Erica, what is a UV dye? It just kind of keeps it on. It shows that the spray was used at colors somebody's skin so they have problems washing it off. So it's kind of like it can identify them. Is that how it works? Yes. Yeah, so the UV dye works with a UV light, um, but it's, oh. it stays on the skin for up to 72 hours. Okay. So you can let them know, let the police know that you used your pepper, your damsel defense pepper spray and that it has UV dye in it. That way they can know. And then also, you know, a lot of people, when they get in those situations, they kind of just freeze over and they don't know what to do. Make sure in those situations, like practice your situational awareness, look at people and say that that person's wearing a gray hoodie, that person's wearing black pants, something significant about them that you can remember. That way, if there were a situation, you can let the police know, hey, this is what the person looks like. Because I know, you know, being a mom, if I'm out with my kids, I'm very distracted making sure my kids are right next to me. And I'm not really looking at the people around me. So I know now through Danzel to look at people and be situationally aware and know who's coming, who's around me at all times. Right. Because distracted individuals can be vulnerable targets. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. And that pepper spray has a locking mechanism on it too. So it can't accidentally go off if I have it on my keychain, correct? Right. So it just has, this, and it has this little, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got this little thing on here. And if you, you have to move the knob, it's in a locked position and you have to move the knob over to be able to spray it. Okay. Okay, great. That's a great product. And I want to show our viewers, I have purchased some of Erica's products. I have the keychain, I have the pepper spray, and I have a striking tool as well. So, and she will be discussing a couple more products and can tell you about those too. Yes. Yeah, so the striking tool, you know, growing up, I was always told to put my keys between my fingers when I'm walking to and from my vehicle. Right. And it's just not a safe tool anymore. Most people have key fobs or they have, you know, a flip key or however they have their key, but your keys are so short and they're not strong and they can be very expensive to replace. So we have our striking tools that it does the same thing, except for it's sturdy. It's very sturdy. It's a sharp tool and all of our products are non-lethal. Also, I just want to put that out there. Some people may think that it, you know, it can really do damage to somebody and it's to deter people from you. You don't want people to attack you. So this is just one of those. It's considered a force multiplier. So whether you have upper body strength or not, just a little tiny jab on my hand here, I'm doing it super soft is painful. It's super painful. So to really have just a little bit of force behind it is going to hurt somebody enough to get them away from you. So you can get to a safe location. Okay, great. And then finally, I think you have the transition pen, correct? I do. Our tactical pen, it is, it's a normal functioning pen. All of our pens come with replacement ink on them. 
It also has a flashlight and it has serrated edges on the top. So if you were to use this in a situation and someone were to attack you, you would drag down with the serrated edge side. And not only would you hurt them, but you would also collect DNA and then you can give it to the police and then they can find the person who attacked you, which is amazing. And again, one of those products where you don't want that back. So as long as you get a police report, you let us know we're going to replace that product for you because you don't want somebody's DNA on you, <laughs> on your pen. Right. And you know, Erica, can you show that close up? Like, does it look exactly like a pen? So really a nurse could use that. Somebody would think it was a pen if it was on her keychain, along with the alarm. And she's got two different things going on there or the striking tool as well. But yeah, those are great products. Well, and, and everybody, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Well, everybody's situation is different. Not all products might be appropriate for every person, but you know your situation and maybe the alarm is what you want to keep next to your bedside. Or, you know, maybe you want the pen on your key on your key ring, or maybe you're walking your dog and you want to keep things handy as well in case you do run across animals like I had mentioned, you know, being in the Smokies. So these are just a few products. And um, I really thank you, Erica, for sharing these. I mean, do you have any final thoughts that you might want to share? Or do you feel we covered most of them? And again, we can provide your, your um, contact information in our description. I just hope everybody wants to be safe and feel confident while they're carrying I know, um, I just wanted to share a quick example. My mother-in-law, she had her striking tool with her and she was walking to her car and she, there was a man standing between her and her vehicle. And there's, you know, situations like that. She's, she could have froze, she could have ran, you know, she didn't know what she was going to do. So she had her striking tool in her hand and she just told him, you know, I'm ready. And he left her alone because she showed confidence and she had her striking tool in her hand. And she said that while she was scared, she still felt that she was confident and she had something to protect herself. So gives, I just. It gives you a little bit more of security feeling and it does, it does give us some empowerment, you know, absolutely. and like you said, showing confidence is key as well. Absolutely. Well, thank you for being on Nurse Table Talk, and I'd love to have you as a future guest. If you have new products that come out, we can talk again, or maybe some different situations that might help people kind of think about their actual circumstances and if they do need some products. And um, again, thanks to all our viewers, and thank you, Erica, for being here. Thank you so much. Bye now. Bye. Like the content you just watched? Hit the like button or hit subscribe here. If you want to be notified of any future videos, please ring that bell. If there's any topic you'd like to see discussed, leave us a comment in the comment section. Nurse Table Talk. Save time, save money, be informed. Thanks for watching.